In this video, I'm gonna be telling you why this shoe from Hoka is probably their best one for years. everybody and welcome to our first impressions after 20 miles of these the Hoka Rocket X2. Now this video is driven by you guys because I put it out there and said do you want a video after these initial 20 miles, it's actually a little bit more, but 20 miles, um, yeah, and to share my thoughts with you and you all said yes. So here we are, we're going to be talking about the things I like after 20 miles, things I don't like after 20 miles and where I see the shoe fitting in for me in my rotation. Okay, so before we do that, let's quickly fly through the stats and features. We've got dual density foams here. We've got Piba foam on the shoe, which is a game changer, by the way. But we've got two layers. We've got a softer uh, compound at the top and a firmer, slightly firmer one down the bottom. We've got a full length carbon plate running through the shoe. Uh, we've got this synthetic mesh upper. We've got an internal cage. Can you see that? So all the stuff you normally get on the outside of the shoe, I think, is in it. Um, you've got no la um, support in the heel, which is interesting. We'll come on to that. Uh, good lacing, uh, good lockdown, I achieved gusseted tongue because of that part of that cage. The overlays are on the inside. Uh, we've got zonal rubber on the outsole, which is okay. It was a little bit slippery on one of the runs I did, but again, it's not the end of the world. Uh, what else, what else? 210 grams, I think it was, uh, 8.1 ounces. Uh, UK 9.5 doesn't fit true to size for me. I'll come on to that. 220 pounds, five mil drop. I think you've got 36 mil stack in the heel, down to 31 if my maths are correct. And I think that's probably about it. Oh, it's, a, it's obviously a racing shoe. Okay, right, so we're gonna fly through this video as it's a first impressions. Firstly, let's do the things I like. I really like the ride. It is fun, people. It is fast. It's sort of, uh, it's between Vaporfly and the Wave Rebellion Pro in terms of speed. Um, but it's as fun as a speed beast. You can have a lot of fun in that speed beast. It's quick out of the blocks. It just makes you want to run fast. And I love shoes, race day shoes, that make you want to run fast. It feels really good. Uh, and it's always begging you to go faster. You, you can't help but run fast in the shoe. The foam in this thing is amazing. You're getting a really good return off of it. It's soft, but it's not too soft that it's dangerous in terms of the the pronation um don't get me wrong it has got some stability issues and i'll come on to that in the bad bits but it's just a real nice blend here it really is a lot of fun i think with the two layers and the plate they've really set it up really well it's it's lovely the upper's great the midfoot lockdown with the cage is great um i just love the overall feel of the shoe it just feels like a quick sort of half marathon 10k shoe it doesn't necessarily feel like a marathon shoe for me already um Again, it's only after 20 miles, but it just feels a quick shoe that I want to put a lot of pace into over those sort of sh um, shorter distances. Right, I don't like the price, £220, I think it's uh, the wrong price. I don't like the uh, lack of sort of hill counter in it. I get it why there's nothing there, but it, I mean, some of the stuff I was turning on today it did feel a little bit wild at the back. I think that could come into a problem for you if you're like a human being and normal towards the end of a long distance like a marathon where most us mere mortals like sort of get really tired and stuff and our form goes out the window i think you start going to the back of this shoe you could end up with real problems in terms of the stability but if you're down here and you're gunning it and you're and you're on your toes and you're getting after it, i think you'll be just fine um i don't like the fit it makes me feel like i'm running up here and my toes are jammed into the front um it's okay like Six miles, 10K, it's all right. 13 miles, probably get away with it. Anything over that, mm, not sure. What's your sizing? I wouldn't say necessarily if it's true to size. I would probably advise getting uh, the 0.5 up, half a, half a size up, unless you, you know your Hoka size. But I would just give you a bit of a heads up in terms of the fitting. You've got to watch your sizing on this. It, you, yeah, it's a bit naughty because it, because it's so lovely and awesome and makes you run or run on your toes it does feel like you're sort of jammed into here so just watch your sizing i've warned you and that's probably about it so yeah the the, the fit and the stability are probably the two only things that i really dislike about this shoe and the oh and the price i think everything else on this is just great five mil drop works outsole works upper works the the, the speeding of speed is just 
awesome. I love it. Um, but yeah, so for me, let's get on to where it sits and fits into the old rotation. So this shoe is definitely going in for that half marathon distance. Half marathon 10K, this is probably where it's at. It's that sort of crossover shoe for me, 10K to half. Uh, I'd probably use the Vaporfly 3 for the 10K, um, but I think I could really push out a time at the half distance for this shoe. So I'm already thinking Great North Run, for example, or the South End Half Marathon. I'm thinking this shoe, you know, if I really want to step on it, is, is a shoe that I could actually use and, and really get after it. It just feels awesome when I'm really pushing my pace. That's why I say, if I was trying to you know, run the 26.2 miles at gold pace, I think I would struggle, and I'd definitely be better off in the Adios Pro 3 or the Socket Endorphin Pro 3. Um, it's not, those two shoes, I wouldn't say, are as much fun as this shoe, and this is a lot of fun compared to those shoes because the bounce and the feeling from the, the foam with the carbon plate, you get, you get a lot of good feedback from it, but it is a, a little bit unstable at the back. So yeah, 10K, half marathon. You could even like knock out a quick park run in this thing. Um, but 220 pound for a park run shoe is a bit strong, right? But I do think you could do that. Yes, you could do your tempo workouts in it, your speed sessions in it. I've got no idea in terms of durability uh, with the shoe. I've got absolutely no idea. I know Hoka aren't particularly good for durability, but we've got some zonal rubber placement on the outsole. So you would hope that that would hold up versus their usual sort of rubberized EVA. So you'd hope that that would actually do a good job on the um, outsole, but let's see how that does hold up. Um, I've already torn it up a little bit there, but that's probably my, there yeah, I'm talking about, that's probably my pronation more than anything else. Um, and the fact that I just ran them down <laughs> the Lee Valley, which is a little bit lumpy and bumpy. But yeah, I, I mean, overall, first impressions which you guys wanted, I, I really like it, I think it's a lot of fun, but you've just got to be really conscious of your um, sizing, I would say. Do you need to rush out and buy it? No, I don't think this is a shoe that you, is a must have of the year. Um, I would say probably the Vaporfly 3, if you're gonna spend that sort of money, is probably a better shout. Might be, you know, controversial there, but I do think the Vaporfly 3 is that little bit. Um, yeah, it's just a Vaporfly 3. But this is a very good alternative. This is definitely, I think, the best Hoka shoe I've run in, right? It, it, because it's just so much fun. Uh, maybe that's the Peeba foam, don't know. Maybe it's the setup with the plate, don't know. But I think, for the, as I said, for the half marathon 10K distance, they've done a really good job here, Hoka, uh, with this shoe. Yes, it's only after 20 miles, but it's a racing shoe, so I don't know how many miles you want me to put into it, you know, um, before we do the review for this uh, shoe, because it is a racing shoe, so your mileage probably be limited. But I do think I could get some training miles in as well. So I think what we'll do is we'll do a race in it, then we'll come back, and then we'll come back probably, what should we say, 50, 60 something miles, go above that and see what the durability is like. Let me know in the comments if you think that's a good idea as well. But yeah, first impressions on this thing, I love it. I think it's great fun, but please watch your sizing.